This is a great movie. You're not going to regret it. You're going to want to skip this movie. Have you ever wondered what movie should I see this weekend? Well, we're here to help. It's on cinema at the cinema. Hi, everybody. My name is Tim Heidecker. Welcome to a, the On Cinema at the Cinema's first annual Christmas special, hosted by myself, Tim Heidecker, and a, as, as, as well as produced by myself. Uh, my guest today is uh, part of the Christmas special, Greg Turkington. Greg, hey, guys, Tim. and uh, happy Hobbit days to you, Tim. Okay. Happy Merry Christmas is the most important thing, and we are here celebrating Christmas, and I love how people try to make it happy holidays now. I said ho it, Hobbit days. I understand. And it's, uh, I was reading this thing on The Blaze um, the other day, and uh, get, there's this in Cleveland, Ohio, believe it or not, the city hall there, they are not letting them use manger for... for they're not letting them use manger for display. I mean, what's going on? What country is this? That's my only point. I do want to give a shout out to a friend of mine down in Austin, Texas, Jeff Stringer. I was down there a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was attending a Liberty rally, and Jeff recognized me, a uh, nice guy. And he came over and he said, uh, you're from Mon Cinema. I said, absolutely. He said, I'm a big fan. Why don't you come with me? And I followed him about six blocks and uh, walked into a cowboy store, a Western store, which they have a bunch of down there. He, he sized me up and found me these cool boots. I think they're ostrich. And uh, yep. Okay. All right, well, let's talk about our movies this week. I've got a couple of great movies to talk about. Very excited. The Hobbit, The Desolation of... The Hobbit? Yes, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Uh, starring Peter Jackson, Martin Freeman, Ian... F Sorry, Martin Freeman. It's supposed to be Morgan Freeman. No, Martin. it's Martin Freeman from the... Uh, he was in the original was Hobbit, the original, too. Okay. Sam Ian cast it from the first movie. Richard Armitage. The dwarves, Bilbo and Gandalf, has, has escaped the Misty Mountains with the One Ring. Now they must contain continue onward to get their gold back from the dragon Smaug. Um, I love this movie. I mean, yeah. let's just be honest. I'm giving yeah. it five bags of popcorn. I'm not going to bother uh, arguing about that with anybody. It might as well be the same movie. This one will win the Oscar. All right? Mm -hmm. Let's not mess around with that anymore. Give them the Oscar now. Yeah, it was funny when you first brought this movie up and you said it wasn't a Christmas movie. And I guess technically it isn't. But uh, in a way, it's the ultimate Christmas movie and that it's a gift from Peter Jackson to the world. Uh, I was a little disappointed in it, uh, disappointed that it didn't come out earlier, because I've been waiting for this movie uh, since five minutes after the last one ended. Uh, I do believe this will finally uh, give Peter Jackson the Oscar that he deserves. Uh, I do believe that retroactively the previous Hobbit movie might be considered for a Lifetime Achievement Award. I had this really cool dream the other day where uh, I thought this would make a neat commercial TV ad or something, where uh, Santa Claus is leaving the North Pole and, and you see the one horse open sleigh over, you know, over through the clouds and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then it, it lands in a clearing and you got the reindeer and the whole thing. And um, Santa Claus hops out of the sleigh wearing his whole, you know, red uh, outfit that mm -hmm. Santa Claus wears and turns to the camera and uh, says, Merry Christmas. And that's when you realize it's not Santa at all. It's Bilbo Baggins. And uh, it would be sort of a cool promotion for this movie or for Christmas in general. That would be kind of my ultimate Christmas. So I would give this new Hobbit movie, I guess it's no surprise, five bags of popcorn and a uh, hundred more bags of popcorn. Wow. Um, I'm also gonna give The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, the f uh, rare five bags of popcorn uh, with an additional five bags, of, uh, 10 bags of popcorn. Well, I gave it a hundred, so that's mm. probably- Anyhow, we're gonna bit. jump on to another great movie that came out this week, Tyler Perry's Amadea Christmas. I thought you said Amadeus Christmas. Mm -hmm. Remember that old movie, mm -hmm. uh, Amadeus? That was a big Oscar mm -hmm. movie as well. Well, maybe that'll shine some luck onto this one. Director is Tyler Perry and also starring the Tyler Perry with Chad Michael Murray, Larry the Cable Guy, and Kathy Naj J Najimi. Indian name. Medea, this, and this is a Medea movie in which Medea turns a small, upside, uh, small, town, upside, small town upside down She, when she's persuaded, ugh, she uh, turns a small town upside down. I thought this was a poem. When she persuaded, when she's persuaded, why can't I read this? It's a Christmas movie, essentially. And uh, no, I'm just, I, I'm looking at it, and it's. Medea turns a small town upside down when she's persuaded into helping. Mm -hmm. Into helping a friend. 
pay her, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it makes sense as a sentence, helping a friend pay a crisp, at, at Christmas. When she, she's persuaded, okay, when she's persuaded into, I'm sorry, the first time I'm reading this, when she's persuaded into helping a friend pay, okay, so when she's persuaded into helping a friend pay her daughter for a, oh, a surprise, for yeah. a, surprise vi a surprise visit on Christmas. On Christmas, yeah. It's a Christmas movie, mm -hmm. and uh, if you've seen these movies before, you'll love it. I gotta say, I was a little distracted when I was trying to watch this one because my mind was still on The Hobbit, which we'd seen earlier that afternoon, and uh, I kept seeing Bilbo in my head and sort of wondering how the whole trilogy is gonna end, uh, although I have read right. the book. Rating? For I give The it Hobbit? Oh, no, for, uh, sorry, I was thinking Tyler about The Hobbit again. For me, I give it five bags of popcorn. I'm excited because this is really sort of the first black Christmas movie. And, uh, well, I, I mean, Larry the Cable Guy isn't black, and he was in it. Well, it's a black theme movie, and uh, I think it's great that every race has their own movie they yeah, can celebrate Larry, and watch. Yeah, but Larry, Larry the, the Cable season. Guy is white. But for example, Christmas Carol is a white movie, and there might be a black in that movie. But anybody can watch these movies, and that's right. well. Congratulations to Tyler Perry and Larry, Larry and Larry the Cable Guy, uh, who for making a um, making this film. And I would give it five bags of popcorn and maybe uh, some sort of blinders or something to stop you from seeing or thinking about The Hobbit while you're trying to watch this, because you should really give it your full attention. All right, uh, let's move on to our new seg next segment, which is Popcorn Classics. Our Popcorn Classic today is Christmas with the Cranks. If you've seen this before, you know that Tim Allen is hilarious, Jamie Lee Curtis is hilarious, Dan Aykroyd is always hilarious. Cheech Marin, hilarious. Uh, Jake Busey, son of Jack Busey, uh, or, son of. And um, this is based on the novel *Skipping Christmas* by John Grisham, who's kind of a spy guy. If you like spy movies, I'm a big Bond head. This is just a fun, uh, sort of instant family classic, and you gotta you gotta see it. And that's starring Dan Aykroyd as well. It really tears it up in this movie, and is a lot of fun to watch. But all the best to Tim Allen and Merry Christmas, Tim Allen. Merry Christmas, Jamie Lee Curtis, too. They're always beautiful, Jamie Lee Curtis. She has a little bit of spice to this. It's still a family comedy, but, uh, you know, let's face it, she's a good-looking woman. Mm -hmm. Very sexy, and I love seeing her in the yogurt commercials. Um, I would like to now just jump into um, our Christmas gift, uh, on cinema gift exchange, uh, on cinema gift exchange. All right, Greg, well, I got you something here that, um, kind of a big gift. <laughs> wow. Let's open this one first. Okay. Ooh, it's heavy. Let's see. No, I think you'll like it. I think it's sort of appropriate since you're such a movie buff. That's a Blu-ray player. It's a Blu brand new oh, okay. uh, Blu-ray player, and that's like the highest technology in terms of DVDs. And, um, Does it have a VHS uh, input as well? No, it's just a book. Okay, well that's cool. No, and then this came with it. This is like sort of on on, on top of that. You'd want to. I have a pretty big uh, VHS collection, a library. I've sort of spent my life building, so I don't know if I'm quite ready to make this switch over. But well, this will help you get started. And those are just like a starter pack, so you can get started with. Show some of the Marine Three, Treasure Train. This one, looks, this one looks funny. Look who's in this one. I saw. I thought of you when I saw it. Hoyt Axton, whoever that is. Corbin Burnson, Lou Diamond Phillips, and Ed O'Neill. It's like a gangster comedy. And this is high quality, best picture quality you can ever get. Some of these are 3D too. So that's for you. Got that uh, for a pretty good price. The shelves I have for my film library are kind of made for more VHS height, so I'm not sure where I would keep these, but. Maybe put them in storage or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's cool. That's nice. Um, I got you something, which I think you're gonna like. That should hook up to your TV as well. Yeah, yeah. HDMI cable. I think, you're gonna, I think you're gonna like this. It's the one and only official, brand new, on cinema, at the cinema hat. Oh. Which you can wear to baseball games or wear it on the show would be uh, what I would recommend. And then, since uh, you said you lost yours, I got another one of these babies made up. This is the uh, uniform for future episodes of On Cinema. 
And uh, I didn't even get to go. open it. He just handed it to me. Traditional stuff would be wrapped. All right. Well, I have one of these, or I uh, misplaced one of these, so I could have one of these back again. Looks a little big. And uh, thanks for the hat. Yeah. Try it on. Well, I got. I'm gonna mess up my hair. No, it's not that type of a hat. Just try it on. Oh, I have. This is all kind of where I want it to be. So I don't get hat head. Well, loosen it and then put it on. Well, tr you know, free country. I'll probably wear it whenever I want. Not right now. But thank you. Yeah, thanks for the, you know, the movies. Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, next year. Yeah. Can I get out of here now? We're just gonna. I don't want to do a whole holiday thing with the crew.